Hey guys, Christian from the Hardware Junkies here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Snapchat on your Windows PC. Now it's a little bit more difficult than just simply downloading an app to your iOS or Android device, however it's not that big of a deal. In order to do this, we're going to download an emulator called BlueStacks. Now what BlueStacks does is it'll, it'll run on your desktop and it'll create a virtual Android device. And from there you can basically download any app you want from the Google Play Store and run it right on your computer. Now for this demonstration I'm just showing you how to do it with Snapchat, but just for your knowledge you could basically use that with any Android app that you may want. So to get started you're going to want to go down to the link in the description and click on the bluestacks.com. Now once you get to the Bluestacks website you're going to see a download button in the bottom left corner that says download Bluestacks 2. You're going to click that and it's going to take you to their download page. Now it should automatically pop up your dialog box for saving it and you could pick wherever you want to save it to. Um, if that doesn't work, they also have the restart the download button right on the screen. So if this box does not come up for you, just click that and it should come up. So you're just going to want to hit save wherever you're going to save it to. And I already have it downloaded, so we can just cancel that. Um, and you're going to want to just start the program. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. You're just going to open up the file and it's going to go ahead and extract all those files and we're just going to wait for that to finish and it'll just be one second here. So once it finishes extracting it's going to take you to this screen where you're going to go through the installation. So you're just going to go th right through. Um, I'll install it there I get now. You could pick where you want to install it. Um, I put everything on here. I have two hard drives, so I just have to kind of manually change it. But um, mostly you can just use the default location. If you're a computer whiz, then go ahead and feel free to put it wherever you want. So you just go ahead and install everything. Um, it's going to bring up with your user account control uh, if you want to trust Windows installer and just hit yes and we'll just let that go and then we'll be right back alright so now that that's done you're just going to want to hit finish it already has start blue stacks checked off so just hit finish there and it's going to have us go through the initial setup I'd assume um, so once we're in here if we want to search for the apps we're just going to type in snapchat and there it is it pops right up we gonna click it and let it load. Just keep in mind it is an emulator, so it could be slow at times, being that you're not running um, just your standard Windows program. It's trying to run a separate operating system on your computer. And there's our problem. We did not set up the App Store or any of that yet. So in order to do that, you're going to want to hit Agree, I guess, if you want your locations to be on. Um, sure. So we're just going to hit Continue here, and we have to add an existing account. So to do that, I'm going to pause the recording here so I can log into my account. This is where you're going to go and log into your account, and I will be right back. All right, so once you got your account all set up, you're going to also have to set up the BlueStacks account, as well as enable AppSync, which is probably going to require you to log in again. But once you have all three check marks checked, you can just hit Let's Go. And it'll take you to the Google Play Store where you can now install Snapchat. Just hit Accept, and it'll go ahead and download that. We got Snapchat downloaded and installed. Now all we have to do is just hit open and let it go through. And there we are. We're in Snapchat. Um, 
All you got to do then is just log in or you can sign up depending if you have an account yet or not. So yeah, that's about it guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Um, if you want more videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, hope you enjoyed. hope this was useful. Um, you can now, you're on any Android app basically on your computer. So that's everything.